assalamu alaikum good morning how are you all i pray that whatever you're watching me from you're safe and you're all smiling so starting today's vlog is starting with browning some onions okay today's recipe is aubergine and courgette and uh, i'm starting with browning the onions so uh, i've just added a bit of salt that's about a teaspoon of salt i have like one large onion in there and uh, now, as you've seen, I've just crushed some ginger and garlic. This is fresh as well. You can use frozen. You can use paste. Uh, I had fresh, so I'm using fresh. A bit, in a bit of oil, obviously, I am uh, browning these. Onions, ginger and garlic. So once the onions are slightly browned, you need to add your ginger and garlic in. Add your salt in. And you put it on low heat. Like, just, just like I've done. Um, okay, so the next step is to um, brown the courgettes. Okay, no, the next step is to put tomatoes in. See, I forget myself how I made it. <laughs> I thought I've turned the gas off, but obviously I've put that gas on as well. So that's still cooking. And uh, so on that side, that's still cooking. And obviously it's, it's on simmer. So uh, while the um everything is getting soft on that side, all the onion and the uh, tomatoes on this side, I've just uh, fried my aubergines. I had two aubergines and I've cut them into little pieces. You can cl cut them into slices, uh, whatever you prefer. Uh, I've just cut them in into like um, small slices. Um, and uh, I'm just browning these. You need to like really make them dark brown uh, tr and then the more browner they are, like don't burn them obviously, but they need to be nice and brown. And um, I'm using olive oil. You can use any oil you like. It doesn't really matter. Um, but they do need to be fried to get that taste. Okay, so now I'm adding all the spices in. Um. I have uh, cumin powder, coriander powder, <clears throat> turmeric powder, and red chili powder. So those were the spices I added. And I've added like a bit of uh, garam masala. I've added half a teaspoon of all the spices. And I've added half a teaspoon of garam masala in there. And a bit of water just to so it's not sticking at the bottom. And now, as you can see, all the uh, ingredients have kind of blended together and uh, they are looking very nice now. So it's time to um, add in the aubergines. I had one courgette as well. You can just make this with aubergines or you can add a courgette as well. I had this just left over, so I'm just going to add this in as well. I've just fried this as well in just a little bit of oil and try to use less oil, as, as much less oil as you can. And um, <clears throat> so I've just added in the courgette as well. And now I'm going to add in the, um, the aubergines in this mixture and... Uh, it's going to come out amazing. As you can see, here I am adding in the aubergines as well. And we're just going to mix these and let, let them rest. I, You can like take these off after about five minutes if you like them a bit chunky. But I don't like them chunky. So I just like to eat them mashed. And so I'm going to leave them on for a, a about 15 minutes on low heat so they all get mashed up and uh, um yeah basically i've just added some coriander fresh coriander in and so this is three tablespoons of yogurt as you can see this is optional you don't have to put this in it does uh enhance the flavor though um if you don't like yogurt you don't have to add this in but um usually with aubergines it uh, the yogurt does bring out the flavor of aubergine and uh, it does taste nice but it this is up to you it's optional if you don't want to add it you don't have to add it that's just 
just an extra i like the taste of yogurt so i've just added it in and yeah so this was today's recipe and i'm gonna just dish it out in a bit i'm gonna leave this um, because you can just finish cooking here right now as it is or you can just blend in all the yogurt and i'm going to show you in a bit how it looks once it's all blended in just like that there you go that's the end result and i'm dishing it out i'm putting it in a plate i'm just going to have with naan roti or you can have it with rice plain boiled rice whatever you prefer i had that with plain chapati so yeah that was my uh dish of the day <laughs> okay i've done some shopping and uh, here we are some tomatoes some ground flour and this is a jar pickle um this is popcorn lots of salt because i have low blood pressure no i don't i have high blood pressure but i still eat it um yeah that's red kidney beans i like those one of my favorite um lentils some kasuri methi and lots of ginger and garlic and obviously some paste as well of ginger and garlic because i had run out of paste and uh, before i can make my own i thought i'll just buy some because i don't know when i was gonna cut all that and chop all that so uh i just bought in some bottles as well i've already got some here that it's a mix but you you sometimes you just can't use the mixed one all the time you need separate ginger and separate garlic in some of the recipes so i bought two separate bottles as well um i'm just putting everything in the drawer now i mean sorry not in the drawer in the fridge and yeah this is the ginger garlic paste uh, sorry ginger garlic fresh and i'm gonna make a paste out of that okay next step was to um fill up these containers because i had bought some uh lentils obviously you've seen the red kidney bees here we go we're gonna put these away now and um i am putting them in just some containers that i've got uh i've um I bought from Amazon and uh, they all go in one big um, drawer. So all my um, dry spices go in this drawer. I don't have a pantry. I wish I did, but uh, unfortunately I don't. And so they all go in this drawer, all my spices. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> that and uh, some i've got a bit of salt left over so this is my everyday salt i use um i use red salt to just <laughs> sprinkle over but my cooking salt is this i use this i don't use a lot of it though even though it looks that i do eat a lot but this will last me a few good few good few months and uh, i don't often buy a lot so yeah okay i'm filling in my containers here i've already got some basin and i've just bought some more because i thought i had finished or i had run out and then obviously we have to label them because i've changed the boxes around and i don't usually put salt in here but i've just got some extra so uh i've emptied this container and i'm gonna put salt in this and uh, this is the gram flower one uh or basin as we call it in our language it's called basin and i'm gonna write it in english as well in case i don't know what basin is <laughs> actually no i do know what basin is but sometimes my daughter cooks isha and uh, she gets confused so um i do write the labels for her in english as well so all the all the things i've written in urdu and english okay next thing is the what else did i bring okay i bought some popcorn yeah uh, i need to make this i i really like popcorn as a snack uh, in the evenings when i'm watching tv when i get a bit of break or i'm doing my editing and uh, i usually do my editing in the night when i'm i'm just like all clear-minded and i'm free and, and don't have like 10 things going in my head that i've got to do this i've got to do this i can never do editing in the morning because i have so much things to do um cooking cleaning i know lots of people do do it in the morning but i can't do it in the morning i do my editing at night in the evening uh around about six seven o'clock because that's when i'm free uh for the evening 
um before that i'm always busy i'm just 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 that as work obviously the chores and all that so yep <clears throat> i i'm just filling in my containers here and this is the big huge pasta container um isha loves pasta so we have one pasta eating person in our house and uh, <laughs> this is for her um and the rest is uh, the whole this whole drawer is actually uh got my all my um spices and my lentils not sorry not spices it's just got lentils and flour and uh, you know what i'm gonna try and sort this out because it always gets messed up and i've got this cabinet that i've ordered from ebay <coughs> yeah it's a cabinet and uh, it's a it's a pantry cabinet actually so what i'm gonna do tomorrow is put all these uh, containers in that and i think it would be easy for me to reach to it because that's like our at a standing length and uh, this time th for this i have to bend down search go mental and uh, mess up all the whole draw so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get the crockery out of there um so it's not crockery it's cookware uh all my pots and pans are in there so i'm gonna get those out and uh, i'm gonna put those in this drawer cabinet here and i'm gonna put my pantry stuff in that so uh, all my um dry ingredients in there yeah that's a good idea actually so okay um this is almost the end of the vlog so thank you so much for watching if i have bored you i'm sorry um i think maybe today's vlog has gone a bit long and uh, i hope you did enjoy it <laughs> i did try um the recipe was good though do try it out and uh, if you like anything in this vlog please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and uh, stay safe and stay smiling i hope i hope uh, i hope everything is well for you and i'll keep you keep me in your prayers and i'll keep you in mine and take care of yourself goodbye love is Thank you.